Welcome to Physics 11 at the Vancouver Learning Network. You have self-registered for this course. However, you are not fully registered or enrolled, and in this short video, I'm going to show you the steps you need to do or take to be completely registered. The startup process has three parts. Documentation, quizzes, which includes the introduction quiz, unit one quiz, and the Unit 2 quiz, and the startup assignment. The first thing you need to do is determine are you a VSB student, an adult, a non-VSB K-12 student, or an international student. What you need to do is read the instructions very carefully to figure out what you need to submit. If you are a Vancouver School Board student, you do not need to submit anything. The instructions of what you need to submit can be found in the Documents Assignment folder. Click on Evaluation, Assignments, and then Documents. The startup process has three quizzes. The first quiz is an introduction to the course. Questions will include what is your teacher's name, the number of units, and how many face-to-face -face exams there are. You must get at least 85% on the introduction quiz before you are able to see the units one and two quizzes. To find the quizzes, go to Evaluation and then select Quizzes. From there, select the quiz you wish to write. All the quizzes in the course are limited to two hours and they are all open book. Also, you can write the quizzes as many times as you wish and only the highest score counts. So far, you have submitted your documentation. You've completed the three quizzes. It is now time to look at the startup assignment. You will not be able to submit your startup assignment until you've completed the three quizzes. As you can see here, you have not completed the three quizzes, and once you do, then you'll be able to see the startup assignment folder. The startup assignment can be found on the course homepage on the left side. It is task number three. The startup assignment can be opened up in Microsoft Word, Apple Pages, Google Docs, or Open Office. Once you download the startup assignment, you will notice that there are yellow sections. These yellow sections need to be completed in a word processing program such as Microsoft Word, Apple Pages, Google Docs, or Open Office. The physics questions are done on a blank piece of paper with a pen or pencil. Once you have done the physics questions, then you will take a picture of that work or scan it. For each of the physics questions that have math, you need to show seven steps. For example, a car accelerates uniformly from rest for 6.5 seconds. If in this time the displacement of the car is 30 meters, calculate the acceleration of the car. The first step is to create a given box. What information are you given in the question? What are you asked to find? You can see this on the left side. The next thing is to create a simple diagram of the problem. The viewer should be able to understand the problem from looking at the illustration. Step 3. What is the equation you are going to use? Step 4. You need to show how you isolated the variable. Make sure the variable you are looking for is on the left side of the equal sign. Step 5. Substitute the numbers and units. In Step 6, calculate your final answer. Make sure the final answer has the proper significant figures and has the proper units. In the last step, Step 7, this is where you double check your work. You're going to do Step 5 again 
but just with the units. If the units are correct, then you have more than likely used the correct equation and completed step 4 correctly. That is, you isolated the variable properly. This problem was typed to make it easier for you to view in this video. You will have to use paper and pen to show your work and again, as previously indicated, you'll have to submit your work by taking pictures or scanning your work. Take pride in your work and do not submit messy submissions. You will go to the content section of the course to get help with solving the physics problems. Make sure you have the latest startup assignment because it might change from time to time. So if you downloaded it a couple months ago and going to submit it today, make sure you have the latest one. Your startup assignment documents are submitted in the startup assignment folder. Go to evaluations, assignments, and startup unit one and two assignment. Before you can see this folder, you're going to have to complete the three quizzes, the introduction quiz, units one and two quizzes. The frequently asked question page is a good place to go to look for answers. Go to the communications, then FAQ. And on this page, you can find questions about how to obtain report cards, how to open up assignment folders, exams, and many other questions. If you don't see your question there, then definitely email your question to your instructor 